My entire life, I've had a purpose. When you're competing, that's what you're all about, targeting that objective. I'm not ready to hang my hat up. Growing up, Robbie Nash was equivalent to Superman in water sports to me. The legend started when he was 13 years old. First time he ever beat all the men. Robbie has 24 world championships. He's a cut above the best. He's one of the all-time greatest athletes you need to know. For me, the most difficult part of my career, life, whatever it is right now, is not having that bullseye that you're trying to throw the dart at the center of. And I was hitting the center of that thing all the time, and now it's like I'm not even throwing a dart anywhere. If you're someone who's spent your life competing and then you stop, then there's a void. And so how do we fill the void? I want to ride one single wave as long as it goes. That's challenging to me. If you're comparing it to riding the biggest wave, riding a long wave is a little bit more personal. It's incredible that Robbie wants to ride the longest wave in the world. I'd like to see that, or maybe I'd like to give him a run for his money. I think this is a challenging year for Robbie, for sure. He's dealing with business, some family, things are going on. Getting divorced, challenging, painful. Working on that a lot. When you're constantly on a plane, traveling around, you don't sit down and face your issues if you're so easily able to get up and go. Does he have issues to face? I'm sure he does, doesn't everybody? I know there's an expectation of exceptional, extraordinary. Suddenly, this huge stop sign hit him straight in the face. It sucked. I felt something pop. All of a sudden, just went flushed. I had all this internal bleeding. And I went to Afghanistan to take care of guys getting blown up. So this is kind of a 60 mile an hour, blown up from an IOD type of thing. You know, I think we're, we're lucky to have him still with us. Robbie never had really a major injury in his entire career. I don't know if it's really a sign that he should mellow out a little bit. We don't like to hear that, dude, you're getting old. It doesn't even work. You can't do something at a high level your entire life and then suddenly go, okay, well, I'm gonna go 50%. Forget that. My dad's not gonna stop. He always says he will keep doing this until he dies. His legacy is extremely strong and it'll last longer than just about anyone that ever came before him and even after him.